Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you how to wind the Tesla coil. This video will show you how to wind the coils of the secondary coil. So the first thing you'll need is a piece of PVC pipe. You can then clean the piece of PVC pipe with a wet paper towel to clean off any dirt or anything on it. Also, you will need to cut it down to size with a hacksaw. Now after that is done, you can start actually winding the coil. For this coil, I will be using 32 gauge wire, and I will be using 625 feet of it, wrapping it around a piece of PVC pipe that is 2 inches in diameter. This will mean that I will get about 1,200 turns out of this. So, to wind this coil, you will need to use a machine. Because winding a coil like this by hand is not very fun, and it leaves a lot of room for mistakes. So what I did is I built this winding mechanism out of aluminum bars and wheels. One of the wheels has a motor attached to it with a gearbox. So this wheel spins very slow, and when the PVC pipe is on it, that makes all these other wheels spin as it rests on them. This allows you to spin the piece of pipe on its axis and also being able to wind the actual pipe. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using this homemade Tesla coil winding machine to wind the Tesla coil. So after the coil is wound, you can protect all the coils by spraying it with this clear spray lacquer. So I'll take it and I'll spray it on the coil. And what this will do is this will protect the coils and the lacquer will stick to them and bind it. 